Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants, playing some more Dart 2 today, continuing on with the Kapil-sponsored Dart 2 Improvement School, as it has been. So last time we had a go at going to Australia, and it didn't go all that great for us. We posted a pretty good time, but we really struggled to do many clean runs. So this time Kapil's been a bit generous, and we're going to go to the USA to do the Hancock Hill uh, Sprint Forward. The Hancock Hill Sprint Forward, indeed. He actually does, though, being super generous as he is, want me to do the race at night, which is a bit of a change. So when I say he's being generous, I mean, no, he's not, not even close. So I think what we'll do is we'll do our standard first run in the daytime. Then I'll do a couple of runs in the daytime just to get used to the track. And then I'll come back to recording and do my first attempt at night. I think, and show you my first one or two attempts at night. Then I'll go off and do some more practice runs at night or in day, however I feel about getting it set in my head before we go and do the rally, I think. So, so we'll start off, oh, press the wrong button. We'll start off with this. So Hancock Hill Sprint forward, daytime, clear and dry. And we are looking for the Ford Escort Mark Three, Mark Two. I think we're too far forward already, aren't we? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, definitely. Right. Let's go back here. Where are we looking? Ford Escort Mark II. There it is. Perfect. Uh, so let's take a look at the liveries quickly, since we've discovered that's a thing. I kind of like that blue, you know. And that green. Uh, let's go with the green. I like the green, actually. Let's go with that. All right, then. That's what we're going to go with. So I think what he, what uh, Capel has done to actually be slightly generous is to drop me down to a slightly easier to drive car, perhaps, so that I can try and deal with the night time a little better. So let's start. So we'll do a quick, just a, a, like a sector's worth of a run. That's way out. Also way out. Better. All right. All right. Touch down, we're in gear, handbrakes down. Four, three, two, one, go. And six we're right. off. Opens of a crest. Into six right long of a crest. I do like the green uh, the it's green left overalls. I completely stopped driving then because I was talking about the overalls. Opens of a crest, fifty. Well, it's very beautiful, it's like a very nice autumn track. I like that. Don't cut three right long of a crest. Like I say, we'll just take it nice and easy, just try and get a bit of a feel for the car. Which apparently likes to oversteer, but it wasn't too hard to correct it, so... I wasn't like, wasn't paying any attention to what he said. Not even close. Cut for left of a crest. Ah, and we stalled. Perfect. Ah, oh, all those people there just watching me stall. That's what they're there for. I like the sound of the car. The car, the car sounds awesome. So we'll just get out to about the first sector or so. Keep middle of a crest. Fifty. Five left. We've got some working mirrors, but they're basically just dust. Just dust behind us. Okay, so I think that's where we'll sort of leave that then. And to keep right into four left. One hundred and fifty. Love the sound of the car, yeah. We'll have to see how it... Yeah, it, oh, it does... It does, slow. does like to bring that back end around. I kind of like it, though. Right. All right, then. Let's... Uh... Opens 100, turn un and there's that one right that I'm sure is going to bite us in the ass repeatedly. Okay, let's have a proper run, then, in the daytime. So we can actually try and get used to the course itself. So we know the course a little bit. That's the plan. Right, so this has all been a bit of a disaster so far. So I've had several attempts at this, all of which have been unsuccessful for various reasons. And I'm, uh, I'm getting a little put out by it, to be honest, which is always a really good frame of mind to be when you're driving. Yeah, mate? Someone in his eyes. That's brilliant. That's what we need. Uh, so my plan is we shall put this in after the sort of shakedown. One. Six run. That's the plan. And we just jumped the start, so we've immediately got a 10-second penalty, but if we can just get through... 
we will add that to the end. So the plan is, I'm just going to take this relatively gentle. Not going to put the foot down particularly. So it seems to be in general quite a fast track, but then it's a quite a fast track and then it throws corners at you that you're maybe not expecting. And about halfway through, halfway through you get a really windy sort of, lots of hairpin section. So I'm just going to take it easy, try and actually get through it, whilst actually, you know, not not just doing 30 mile an hour Sunday drive, trying to give it a little bit of welly, just... Oh, that cheeky rock. But yeah, trying to actually uh, get through it without, without destroying the car. That's the plan. So I've sort of lost track a little bit of what I've said and what... I stopped talking because he said the slow thing. Um, yeah. What's made it into the recordings and what hasn't so far? Well, that stall just did, obviously. And then I don't think he said, but this is a square left. Well, he definitely did say what I meant to say was I didn't hear it. So this is this windy section. I said it was about halfway through, but that's a little bit incorrect. We've got through there relatively clean. I don't know what this was. One right? Oh, hairpin right, surely. So I feel like if I can get through this course without stalling, I'll probably end up being pretty happy with myself. Fences always worry me. A very tight hairpin left. Not just any hairpin left. Oh, and we opens definitely went a bit over the top there, and I thought I was going to stall that again, but we got away with it. So I think I mentioned this in the shakedown kind of test run we did, but uh, I love the way this car sounds. I love the way this car sounds. Slow, turn unseen, one right. Yeah, we've messed this up before. This won't make it into the recording, I don't think, but we have uh, been quite overzealous for that corner previously. And we haven't got much further. Yeah, I don't remember getting to the jump. All those rocks on the outside of that tree or whatever it is, that's terrifying to see after you're flying through the air. Oh. To keep middle of a jump. Oh, rocks on the inside there. Maybe a don't cut would have been nice. So we're in the last sector. Narrow four crest what? Into cut by right. To keep left of a crest. Double jump cut. So this last section again is super fast. Okay. Okay, interesting. So we've got a time up, which is the main thing. Oh, that's with the penalty. So 4.02 is our actual time. In case we need to remember that, hopefully I will do more than that, hopefully. So I'm gonna do some runs now off camera, try and improve that time a bit. And then I will cut back to you guys. So you can see my first attempt at a night run, see how that goes. Then I'll do some more practice and then we'll go to the rally mode and try and actually do a night run in it. This is just, the, the day runs are just me trying to get used to the course of it, just so I know what to expect. What's number 46, did I pick that number? I got no idea. Um, just so we know a bit more what to expect. All right then. 30. Keep middle of a crest. 50. Into five left long. Opens a crest. Keep right of a 40. Three left. 30. 
20. Keep middle of a crest. 50. Five left. Right of a 40. Three left. Turn one left. Opens 330. Keep middle of a crest. 50. <laughs> Opens 100, turn unseen, square left. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it wasn't. Damn it. Three right. 100, turn unseen, narrow fall left of a crest jump. Opens long. Keep right of a 40, three left. 30. Keep middle of a crest. 50. 30, 80, crest, D, over finish, cut, 6 left long, <laughs> into 5 left long, opens, a crest, into 6 left. So here we are to have our first attempt at the night race then. So I've actually had to put this into rally mode rather than the time trial. Because the time trial, you could only do stuff during the day. You couldn't do sunset, dusk, or any of the other options. It was just during the day. So we're in the actual rally mode now, which isn't to say this is where I'll leave. I might jump back into time trial to get used to it a little bit. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll leave on the standard setup as always. So I have managed to improve my time. I had a couple of runs where I got through it. One I just about beat my time. If you take out that 10 second penalty I had, just about beat the time by a second. Had another run where I got about 10 seconds under. So we're getting there. We're getting there. This isn't actually... No, there we go. To make sure my VR is centered appropriately. Right then. So the main problem here is going to be if you crash... And damage Three, your lights. Two, one, go. I'm assuming your lights are gone. Opens of a crest. And that might as well be terminal. Right oh, that's a bad start. So normally a bit better over there. Right Nicely into fourth by the time you get to the top. Getting fifth for this little downhill section. Right up until you get to this right, which, which I lost. Down into fourth for that. We've messed it all up, though. Messed it all up properly, look. I was wondering how different it would feel to be racing in the night. And I immediately lost my markers on that corner just as I couldn't see. Oh, my word. It feels terrifying racing at night. It really does. Keep middle of a 150. Like, even my gear has been really smooth in the last couple of runs, and it's gone to pot now. 30. Keep middle of a crest. 50. Oh, my word, what is going on with me? This, honestly, it feels really sort of just claustrophobic and... 30. Six right. Opens, keep middle of a crest. The car feels slow. Like, obviously, I'm going a lot slower compared to what I was, but it just feels... A lot more unwieldy during the night. Right. I think the frame rate's suffering a little bit. Not enough to really make enough of an excuse for me. Opens oh my word, how did I not even see that coming? So one of the things that Kapil said from my previous attempt in Australia was that a lot of the times when I'm losing control, when I'm losing constant control of the car, a lot of that's down to my uh, sort of amateur insistence on just whacking the throttle down and hoping that it holds. So what I've been trying to do, and particularly the run where I knocked 10 seconds off without any of that nonsense, was to uh, use a lot... I'm trying to break and get down into gear before I got to the corner. Um, a lot less throttle when I'm starting to spin, when I'm starting to slide. Whether it's an intentional slide or not. But I tend to do the two things, I think, which is either all of the throttle or none of the throttle. Oh, see, that, that, everything seems to come up on you quicker during the night. Like, I've done this course, if not a lot of times, maybe sort of like four runs of it. So I should know roughly what the uh, 
sort of distances between corners are and stuff, and my markers and that, but it just, everything seems to just really, really just throw itself up to you at night. It's creepy, if anything, and it's absolutely terrifying. Into five left long, opens a crest. Ah, oh, almost went okay. Almost. And I forgot to change gear. Jump for right long. Oh, took that a little bit on the left. That's dangerous with those rocks on the outside there. Into six left long. Tight four. So we should be able to leave it in fifth gear now, pretty much. Oh, although I don't normally do that, so that's a mistake. This is the corner I normally mess up on. Not going fast enough to mess it up now, he says, very nearly messing it up. Six left of a double jump into cut by right. To keep left of a crest and keep middle of a crest, 50. Oh, oh. Cut six left long to stop. I'm assuming this is the way to the end. Come on now. It hasn't come up to warn me, so yeah. And really... I mean, obviously it's a horrific time, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oop. And that's not great. <laughs> that's all we had to go. Yeah, 412 is not that bad compared to... Stage finished. I mean, that's the time we had pretty much when we had the 10 second penalty added on. So I know I can go about 20 seconds faster than that. But that's not bad, I don't think, for my first ever night run. So let's go to the top. 353. So yeah, if I can get, I'm sure, did I say 352? Or did I say 358? No, it must be in 352. So if I can get a good run, I can pretty much guarantee the top three finish there. Right, I'm going to have some more practice in then. So I'm going to do some restarts, have a couple more practices, and I'll jump back in for a proper attempt in a moment. Opens of a crest. Into six right long of a crest. What happened there? Right of a 40, three left. In. Opens 100, turn unseen square left. Right long. 80. A crest, and keep middle of a crest, 50, over finish, cut, 6 left long to stop. Go, 6 left. And we'll see how we go this, oh my word, that couldn't have gone much worse, could it? Apart from a jump start. Keep middle of a crest. Oh, that's, every time I need to listen out for that 30, because it catches me off guard. Every time. It's never when I'm actually... Wanting to show you guys it. Oh, and that couldn't have gone any worse. Opens. Keep middle of the crest. 50. Right. Into slow. 6 left. 30. Turn unseen. 1 right. 30. 4 right long. Opens. 90. Long, six left of a double jump into cut by right. Thirty. Keep middle of a crest. Fifty. One right long of a double junction. Six right of a crest. Slow fifty. Turn very tight air in left. So I think what I'll probably end up doing, I don't know whether this little speech will actually get into it, but I think I'll probably keep on going and then just keep in full, like the last one or two attempts, depending on how we go. Because ideally, what I'd like to do is practice until I'm good. Opens up a crest, 50. And then go and do the rally and just show you guys my one good attempt. But the problem is, it's so hard to get to a point where I'm good enough to do a course without crashing, particularly in the relatively limited time sets I have to myself. Myself? Myself? Like, I try to give myself about, about an hour to record Dirt 2. 
So if you can take away like say five minutes from my intros or whatever, the first run another five minutes and then the actual proper, like the shakedown five minutes that is, proper run five minutes, say 10 minutes because I need to do it a couple of times, so that's 20 minutes. And then in theory, I should have like half hour of just running runs, solid, followed by uh, one or two attempts to actually get it down right. So half hour of practicing, basically. That's not a lot of time. That is not a lot of time. Opens 100, turn unseen square left. But it wasn't fast, but I got around it relatively success well, not successfully. Uh, relatively undamaged, didn't bounce into too many things. Although there, I hit my ass into two different piles of logs. Okay, that was a little better. And these bumps on this corner really just threw the car out, but that felt a little better as well. Then we've got this hairpin, so we'll go down into second. I do about half of the time tap the handbrake. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. How I hit that tree, I don't know if, you, I don't know if you'll see that, but I hit that tree at one point. Something I have never done before. I actually never use the handbrake on that corner. I think I'm so focused on trying to slow myself down enough to get around it. So we've got this other one coming up. And we'll see we're in fifth gear here. Slow, turn unseen, one right. Ooh, I moved it down into second and it didn't like it. Opens. Crest. Into six left. 50. But I didn't go up any of the banks. Didn't roll the car. Didn't lose my lights. Again, I will take that as a win. We're only one second off. Which isn't bad. Now, I'm not saying that's going to end up being anywhere near that. Because, unsurprisingly, the last sections of the course do tend to be the bits that I have practiced the absolute least. Turn three right. As that will attest. Oh. Oh, and a stall as well, just to top it off. Oh, now it's just a bit overzealous coming down. Oh, okay, that's a shame. That run could have been, could have been the run. But it wasn't to be. Opens long. Six left of a double jump into cut by right. So these left of a crest, double jumps of a crest, 50, and then avoid that finish, log on the left there, which I've hit at least stop. once. Four oh six. That's an eleventh place position. That's not good that's enough, really, tough, is it? But it felt fast. We want top 10, if not top three, which we know we can do. If we can just not do those silly little crashes, if we can not do those silly little crashes, we know we can do better than that. Here we go. Oh, I'm really uncomfortable in my seat today. Something's going on. I'm, so I've done something slightly differently and I can't figure out what it is. Three, two, one, go. Six left, opens of a crest. It's a six right long of a crest. Well. Six left. That's one mistake, but right that should be a relatively uh, left. minimum amount of time lost for that, cut. you'd hope. Of a crest. Keep right of a 40, three left. Into two right. Well, compared to some of them, that wasn't too bad. Opens 30. And this two that I really need to... Right change down for beforehand, but I never do because I'm always too busy trying to get around the corner. So the next thing is that, what I call the 30 wall, which is this one just coming up now. So I'm going to go super cautious, avoid that bank. 
30, six right, opens, keep middle of a crest, and to keep right into four left. Could have been worse, that was almost out of control. Four right. As was so, that. Six left, 30, turn unseen, one right. Opens 100, turn Done it unseen, again. Right. I think it's because I changed down. It's sort of just the wrong moment, so I think my wheel is just ever so slightly to the left as I change down. And obviously, clutch goes in. No engine control on the car whatsoever, and it just starts running away from me. We actually got a green first sector. So I think it's the first time we've had a green first sector. And I'm trying not to get too excited about that, because... What does that really mean? Opens flat of a crest long at 30. Because I can do plenty of things like that yet yeah, to really Six muck left. it up. And turn four right. 40. Six right of a crest, slow 50. Turn very tight up in left. That definitely wasn't fast. I had to take that quite slow through there. Four right long. Opens 90. But that was all right. Left long, tightens, 200. Back up into fifth in the car. Left of a crest, past I don't know, I must, I must just be clipping the edge of the track where there's a little bit less traction. Because every now and then it just, I'm not even really turning, but the back end just wants to whip away from me. All right, so we'll see if we can get through this without killing ourselves. Left long, opens. So what I did a bit different there was I braked heavily and I didn't change down until a bit closer to the actual corner, whereas previously I've been probably a little bit too... What's the word I'm looking for? The opposite of cautious. Too excited? I don't know. Changing down way too early. And again, it's that problem where you've got a bit of speed on you. You lose... We're okay. You lose control of the car. 100. Turn unseen. Narrow for left of a crash jump. And suddenly you don't know where you are. Six left of a double jump. Into cut by right. To keep left of a crest and keep middle of a crest. 50. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. Because I'm trying to concentrate because that's a good run. That's a banging run. Look at that. 3.45, well, almost 3.46. Yes, Oof. We are the champions. Hard we are the champions. Off. It did pay off. In the end, we got there in the end. Editing that is going to be a nightmare, because normally, during the runs where I'm just practicing, I'm quiet, so it's easy to uh, pick out the crashes, because I generally make some sort of noise when I crash. So generally, the editing is quite easy. I think I did so many runs there while I was recording, might, might be a bit more time spent having to uh, whittle those down into an actual video, but there we go. First place, Kapil. How would you like that? So obviously the car thing was probably a little bit easier to handle, but nighttime definitely added a huge, huge amount of challenge to that. Let's pop it into... Oh, that's me. Yeah, fantastic. Here we go. Look at this. Now, it's one of those things where it didn't feel fast. It wasn't exactly power sliding around a lot of the corners. I was trying to take it a bit easy, but... It's like I mentioned before, sometimes when it doesn't look or feel fast, that's when you go in smooth, and that's when actually you are getting some good times in. It's, it looks awesome at night. So I, was just, I was just distracting myself by watching the head beams go through the foliage and the branches and stuff. It looks awesome. That's that pesky 30 that we managed to avoid, and then it immediately almost went wrong. Terrifying in the dark, isn't it? Look at it. Absolutely terrifying. Cool. Well, there we go. Then I'm going to leave that there. There's that hairpin right where I went massively wrong. Oh. And I've got this, this 90 degree left. Yeah, see what I mean? That looked slow, but... And obviously it is slow compared to the rest of the world, but... For me, it ended up being all right.
So as always, a massive thank you to Kapil for his ongoing suggestions and hints and tips on how to improve my performance. I'm really, really enjoying this. This is the most use I've had out of my steering wheel since I played probably the Euro Truck and the Maritruck simulators when they came out and I played them on the Dev Kit 2. Did I even really play them much on the CV1? Probably not. I know I had a small American Truck Simulator series, but I think primarily it's been all, all Dev Kit 2 for American Truck Simulator. So this is the most use I've had out of my G27 for a long, long time, which I'm super, super happy about. So thank you to Kapil for your ongoing commitment to uh, my minuscule improvements. Hope you're still enjoying it. If everyone else is enjoying it out there, do click the like button. That's always appreciated. Oh, there's that really tight hairpin that we went around. Oh, that looked quite nice. Let's go back. That looked quite nice. I want to see that again. Looks weird in reverse. A bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That'll do. Yeah, if I was just slightly more controlled, like a bit wider coming in maybe, so I just didn't hit that ditch on the outside. Yes, if you enjoyed the video, do click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions and comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, I do stream on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. and it'd be wonderful, oh, listen to that, that sounds amazing. It'd be wonderful to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Dark Rally 2 for the ongoing improvement school with Teacher Kapil. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.